Hello and welcome my Leo friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. This is going to be a group reading for the full frost moon for my Leo friends. The full frost moon is rising with Taurus. This cool crisp moon has a sense of stability and grounding as it rises with this Taurus energy. Now it's going to be this Taurus earthy, grounding, stabilizing energy that is going to help us combat the complexities of life. We're in full swing Mercury retrograde. There's lots of things going on. There's a lot of energies at play here. The full moon rising in Taurus will help with that. And what we're going to look at today in this reading is how the full frost moon will impact my Leo friends and how best can you embrace what the full moon is offering you. For this reading, I'm going to be using the Witch's Tarot, and then I'm going to end off the session with a blessing from the Druid Animal Oracle. Like always, there's links below to both these fantastic decks, so should they speak to you, you can go out and check them out for yourselves. Alright, my Leo friends, let's see what the cards have to say. What card symbolizes the full frost moon for my Leo friends? A great card the knight of wands knights are that no fear go big go home energy wands are about that inner fire what the full frost moon is really encouraging you my leo friends is to embrace that willpower and drive that you have and getting on your horse and driving yourself forward the full frost moon offers you that ability of action and momentum should you decide, you can really embrace that no fear energy and really make some meaningful progress in your journey. Let's see what's going to challenge that night, shall we? I'll just drop them on the floor. What challenges do my Leo friends face this frost moon? Really enjoy it when the jumpers hit the floor. And go in between the uh, equipment. So we've got three jumpers that are going to cross this knight's energy. The first one, nine of pentacles. Nines are about all of what you've accomplished. Pentacles are about that growth and abundance. What the nine of pentacles is really going to do is misdirect the knight. You've achieved so much in your life. Why ever would you want to go forward? Why would you want to leave this Garden of Eden? It's really your ego pushing you to stay where you're at. Because you'd be safe, quote unquote safe, where you're at. The minute you start trying to push yourself forward and do more evolution and evolutionary changes, that's when you become unsafe and your ego hates it. The second card jump out, the Hanged Man. He's the 12th card in the Major Arcana and he talks about letting go. Talks about that fear of trusting the universe, that yes, things are going really great where you're at right now, but trusting in the universe and being able to drown out your ego with saying, why would you ever want to move yourself forward? Why would we ever want to leave this place? trusting in that the universe has an even better place for you. It's hard to do and your ego is really going to play up on it. And then the page of wands. This is the younger brother or sister to the knight. Like I said, the ego is going to try and misdirect you and redirect you into different areas because what the knight is offering you is more transformation and transformation is scary for the ego so he's going to bring up every shiny fluffy exciting thing for you to see so you don't ever get on their horse let's see what we can do to help the night out what can my real friends do to embrace the night and the opportunities that the full frost moon 
offers them. And that's the knight's mom, the queen of wands. Queens are that feminine nurturing energy. Again, the wands are all about that inner fire. How the queen is going to help you is instead of going so gung-ho that you see this action more as a nurturing, self-care, loving aspect, which is going to really diffuse some of the ego because it's going to be confused. Yes, it's transformational. and Yes, you want to go forward. However, when you're doing it through self-care and through self-love, it's literally misdirecting your ego. Let's see what this will bring us. What information and message does the full frost moon offer my Leo friends? Got a second knight, the knight of pentacles. Unlike the knight of wands, the knight of pentacles is a knight about hard work really focusing in on that close to home work which really embraces what the queen here is saying the full frost moon offers you that ability to do some if you will at home maintenance through that self-care and self-love you will get further when you start to really plant those seeds and make those little changes and you want to do it in a way that you're not going to alarm and, and scare yourself. It's all through that self-care and self-love and that self-acknowledgement that will help these two knights get you to go forward. Now we do have two knights. Knights are the 12th card in the Minor Arcana. In Angel Messages, when you're looking at the number 12 repeated, you're looking at a time of spiritual growth and awakening. More importantly, when you're looking at this spiritual growth and awakening, you're going to see that you're going to start to be able to manifest some of your dreams. You're going to be able to manifest those dreams from a place of self-love and self-understanding. You'll be living a more authentic you. And that's going to make a bigger shift. The more authentic you are, the more fulfilling and joyous you're going to find even the most remote tasks. All right, let's see where these knights are going to lead us. What outcome does the full frost moon offer my Leo friends? That's the Ten of Swords. What this offers you is the ability to overcome what has stopped you and kind of slowed you down. The Ten of Swords has been kind of something that has been standing in your way, if you will. Tens are about ending yet beginning. However, the Ten of Swords talks about all that past situation and events and all that emotion we carry with it. The Swords are really not about emotion. However, we're emotional beings. The Swords are about that event, that situation, that knowledge piece, we're the ones who attach the emotion. And that's what's really bringing us down. It's not the event. It's how we respond and how we feel about it. These knights and this queen really offer you the, that chance to overcome some of those pieces that really have literally tied you down overcoming those challenges that the ten releasing some of that pain that those sorrows and those more negative feelings that we have if you will regarding events that have happened so that you can retain that knowledge about the situation and move yourself past it to that next stage because this is what's holding you back the stability of Taurus and that kind of ingenuity, if you will, of the moon help with this process. The frost moon is also known as the beaver moon by many people. Um, Native Americans or Aboriginal individuals 
used to call this moon the beaver moon because this is a time when the beavers started to really fortify their home and hibernate. This fortification will really help you overcome that, if you will, the trials of winter. The swords are connected to the element of winter. All right, let's see what, how we can ground ourselves. What can my Leo friends do to give themselves a better platform to really be able to embrace this change and development that the full frost moon offers them? And that's the Five of Cups. Fives are a conflictory number. Cups are about that intuition and emotion. The Five of Cups always talks about how you've got these ideals, these expectations, these hopes, these dreams, and there's a loss there. Something isn't working so well. And you're focusing in on what isn't working so well, rather than what is working well and what will really bring you that success and abundance you're looking for. Yes, things are going well. However, things could be better. And that's what the Five of Cups is talking about. We need to shift our thinking and the direction that we're really focusing all our energy on and focus our nights on that piece that is working for us so that we can overcome those bigger obstacles and so that we can see more fulfillment in our life and we start to raise our vibration because we're really not being held back anymore. Let's look at your shadow card and what your shadow self wants to add. It's the King of Cups. Kings are the fully developed personality of the suit. Cups are all about that emotion and intuition. The King of Cups controls the seas. He controls that intuition. He controls the emotion. And that emotional control will really help you out. Also, through the, the reading, we started out with the, the older brother, the mother, the younger brother or sister, and the father. Your family will help you support you in overcoming some of these bigger challenges that you're going to be facing in the 10. It's not going to be an obstacle. The obstacle is already there. It's about overcoming some of those feelings and emotions that we've attached to it, releasing that emotion and gaining that knowledge piece. And that knowledge will be key. If you will, the knowledge will set you free. All right, my Leo friends, let's look at a blessing. What blessing does the full cross moon offer my Leo friends? That's the wren. Wren is just this little tiny bird. It's a songbird. But even though we have this little tiny bird, she protects her home in a face of adversity using things that she has at hand. She doesn't back down. She doesn't fly away. She's ready to defend her little, her little home and her, her, her family from anything that would be there any of those dangers. It doesn't matter how small the changes are that you make, it will cause rippling and movement in your life. Even the smallest stone thrown into a pond causes ripples that can be felt throughout the pond. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on the cards. This is a group reading, however, I drew these cards especially for my Leo friends. What further information do they hold for you? Like I said, this is a group reading. If you're looking for more personal or specific reading, you can follow the link below and schedule a private reading with myself. For those who are interested, I will be running online introductory and interactive classes over the next couple of months. My first class is on Monday, November 11th, where I'll be offering my introductions to Angels and Archangels class. 
Then on December 9th, I'm going to be running my Introductions to Connecting, which is a channelings class. If you're interested in both or either of these classes, you can find out more information and register on my website. I provided a helpful link below to my classes page where you can go there directly to check things out. I hope you found this video fun and helpful and that you're able to gain some direction and insight into what the full moon is offering you. Like I said, this is an offer. This is something that you can choose to do. You have free will. You do not need to take the full moon up and embrace those energies. You can do something different. You can hold off on this. It is your free will. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. You never know where I'm going to go next and I'd hate for you to miss a video. Also, if you like this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of the tiers, the perks are private readings with myself. I provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Leo friends.